If you like to see how I'm going to transform this very plain coffee mug from the Dollar Tree into this lovely, beautiful, bright, resin embellished mug, keep watching this video. Hey YouTube! So today in this video, I'm going to be adding some embellishments. I have these clay sprinkles I'm going to put on this coffee mug I purchased from Dollar Tree. Here's a cute little resin bear mold. And I cut out the words, barely awake. I thought that would be really cute to put on my cup. Now I had one little bear that I already made. It's kind of big. I'm going to use some UV resin to apply it to this cup. I use UV resin to make it. And now what I'm going to do is make a smaller bear as well. I'm making a second bear because the first bear I made, I thought it was too big. So I also cut out a, another set of words because I wanted to use both bears. So I made the words bigger and then I made some smaller. I hope that makes sense. So UV resin is very fun and fairly simple to work with. I'm using a little plastic knife just to kind of mix in my sprinkles and I'm adding more UV resin to seal it up because you want to make sure that you have all your cute little stuff on the inside of it. It'll float down to the front and then you just let it sit under the lamp for about 90 seconds as many times as you need to and it hardens up and it's great. So when you apply your words, you just want to make sure that you put them on as straight as you possibly can. I'm definitely guilty of putting them on crooked, having to peel it back off, recut it and do it again. So if you can put it on there right the first time, that definitely saves you a lot of time. So I have my words on here, barely awake. I'm just taking an old gift card and I'm just kind of smoothing that out. And when you try to pull it off, if it's still not sticking to the cup, all you have to do is just go over it again and add a little bit more pressure. So now I'm going to put this cute little bear on here. Now it's kind of sliding all over the place. The back of it probably just isn't flush. So I'm going to put a nice little chunk of this UV resin on here. I'm just trying to, to decide and make sure that it's nice and straight because once you put the UV resin on, and you put that lamp, that LED UV lamp on there, whether it starts to slide or get a little bit crooked, it's gonna be how it's gonna be. So you don't wanna have to worry about prying this back off. So I'm just trying to make sure it's nice and straight and I'm trying to hold it a certain way so I can reach and grab my UV lamp. And I'll give you links to where I purchased the UV resin, the lamp, the molds for the bears and also the clay sprinkles so now I'm gonna go ahead and make sure that this is nice and flat on here and I'm gonna go ahead and try to peel that off okay so just go ahead and take your time peel that off nice and slow this pink um, vinyl is so pretty I love how bright that is. I love how it matches the sprinkles. There's little pieces of pink sprinkles inside of the bear. Um, you don't have to use the clay sprinkles if you don't want to. You can absolutely use maybe a mica um, powder to color the bear or alcohol ink, or you can use glitter. That would be cute as well. I love this already, you guys. I love this. So this is how it looks. So the other side is just big and empty. So. But first, I got the idea that I wanted to try something different. So I'm gonna use some UV resin and I am going to add some of these clay sprinkles to the handle of this coffee mug. Now, I just kind of poured them all over basically like it was some glitter, just trying to do it as quickly as I can before anything starts to slide because the UV resin it can kind of make things slide a little bit so I'm trying to go a little piece by piece here and it's it's cute it's you know so it's coming together I think it really looks nice because the clay sprinkles are inside of the bear so I figured why not tie in the handle of the cup to how the bear is decorated the only thing when you pick up the cup, it is like a little rough. So I decided 
that I could probably just go over it with a couple coats of Mod Podge to like soften it up and give it some type of coating. But overall, I think it's cute. I really do like it. And I'm trying to cover up as much as I can um, of the handle. Just keep pouring it on there. And it's very festive. It's just different. Sometimes I like to see something that I've never seen before. Okay, so I'm sizing everything up. I have the smaller letters for this side, the bigger bear for this other side. It's such a big cup. I figure why not just put this on both sides. Now, another great thing I want to say about these bears, you can do so much with these bears. I did a short a while ago showing how you could turn this bear into a cute little brooch to put on a blue jean jacket just by adding on um, one of those little pins on the you know, the little jacket pins. I think I've also, I know I did, I did a video also showing you guys how you could turn these cute bears also into croc charms. Yes, charms for your crocs and they are adorable. So there's a lot that you can do with these bears. So now what I'm doing is I'm peeling off the, the backing sheet to the vinyl. Um, or I'm pulling off the transfer tape to the vinyl. And now I am gonna go ahead and add on the bear. I just wiped it off with a little alcohol really quickly, dried it off. I have my UV resin, and I just want to make sure that it's as nice and straight as possible, again, like we did the other side. Now this bear is bigger. So the way I'm gonna lay it here, I probably could have put the word awake a little bit lower but you'll see how I did it. It's kind of like the bear is going to be overlapping the word barely just slightly. But it's still going to work. I'm going to make it work, you guys. So I'm just going to work this on here. It's almost like a perfect fit. The feet of the bear is kind of on the word awake. But it works. It works. It looks good. And you just want to hold that on there. Um, it's going to stay. And you can also lay a little bit more of the UV resin behind it if you want to. I'm going to reveal it to you at the end and what I'm doing right now I'm just kind of placing um, more of these sprinkles onto the UV resin but not pouring them I'm trying to get them to lay nice and flat so that's what I'm doing here and I'm almost finished Okay, you guys, here is the final finished result of this coffee mug. Oh my goodness. I absolutely love this coffee mug. I love, love, love it. So it's very different. Um, I'm not a huge coffee drinker, but I kind of am. Not really, but I drink coffee when I'm really, really sleepy. And I might, might have stayed up too late at night and I have to be at work. And I'm just kind of like barely awake. Pretty much when I'm barely awake, I drink coffee. And I drink instant coffee, so I'm not like this real big professional coffee drinker. I drink instant coffee. And I like to add my little creamer and everything. I can't think of the name of it, but it's a really good creamer that's very, very sweet. And you really don't need to use sugar if you use enough of it. I like the Dunkin' Donut kind, like the caramel macchiato kind, or whatever like that. I do like me a little Starbucks every now and then. I like me a frappe with extra caramel. Anyway, this cup is so bomb. I love this cup. I really, really do. It was simple to make. It really wasn't hard. If you have UV resin, you have one of those little lamps. Like I said, if you don't have the clay sprinkles, you can definitely use glitter. You can change it up any color you want. You can use different color resin. Um, you can use different color vinyls. You can get the vinyls off Amazon. I have links to where you can get everything from. But as far as coffee cups, because I've done other coffee book cups before. I've added rhinestones to them before. But this one, this is the one. And this is definitely for me. I'm usually making gifts for other people. Figuring out who I can give somebody something to. This is mine. I'll see how this holds up. Like as far as being in the microwave and all of that. I think it should be cool though. But I love this cup. Thanks to you guys for watching this video. Give it a thumbs up. 
share it on Facebook or send it to someone who may be interested. And I know that there are some people out there who collect coffee mugs, who have at least 25 to 30 to 50 coffee mugs. And if that's you or you know someone like that, this would be a great idea to make them something very customized, very personalized. So again, thanks you guys for watching. Check out our Bye -bye. website, myworldradiance.com, and we do carry faux leather inspired designer fabric for your crafting needs, luxury inspired croc charms, as well as iron on patches, and much more. Enjoy the coupon code MYROYALBEAUTY10 off. Check out our website, CRTacticalDefense.com, where we do sell in waistband gun holsters, belly band holsters, and many more. Please check out my discount code VIBES for a special discount for my subscribers.